Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. So today, we are going to be showing you a video in the background. We are going to pause the journey until tomorrow. The video you are seeing on your screen, it has been making the round since yesterday. Sunday, the 18th of July, 2021. This is an incident that took place at a place named Dump in the parish of Westmoreland. For months or since I have started carrying news on this channel, I have been telling persons about two men on a motorcycle going around and creating mayhem in Westmoreland. When I say two men on a motorcycle, I don't mean the same two persons. All I'm trying to tell you is that this is most of the hoodlums modus operandi in Westmoreland. That's their mode of operation. Two of them riding up on a motorcycle. The pillion coming off. Either he shoots somebody or he robs somebody. Look on your screen carefully. The rider for the motorcycle, he's still on the motorcycle. The motorcycle is still traveling. So he's ready to move at any time. Now, look at this idiot who call himself a gunman. You see him putting the gun in his waist? Look at him. If this guy was challenged, he could have been easily taken out. There is something also that I want you to look at. Look at when this guy was leaving. Look what he did. The establishment they went to, it is a bar. They also sell phone cards. You can see that there are some slot machines in there. Look at what he asks the person over the counter to hand to him. That looked to me like a bottle of high-end liquor. So, they come, they rob the place, and they ride away, or they rode away, and them gone in a one corner now. Gone burn them spliff, and drink them liquor. And when these guys are taken out, you hear how much they were altar boys, they were baptized the other day. Them law abiding. Them not trouble nobody. Them this and them that. This is how a lot of these guys expect to live. All them need is a one gun. They either go around and do hitman work. Or they go around and commit robbery. This is a day's work for them. They get phone cards, they got cash, and they got a bottle of a high-end liquor. Parents, I hope you are looking. This is what your son, your well-loved son, is doing. Somebody should be able to recognize who either the rider or the robber is. We are not sure if a report was officially made to the police, but it's right in front of your eyes. Just look how these guys operate. And if you work in or own a business place, just look. I've been warning you for months about these guys and a motorcycle. It's not that you're going to be paranoid. It's about being alert. Because this gun fool, it wouldn't take nothing for him to squeeze the trigger. We are happy that he didn't. But that guy that you see him pushing around, I am sure if the guy did something like he wanted to resist him, he would have easily squeezed the trigger. Like I said, Continue watching the video. 
until we finish the rest of the stories. In the next story, Copper Man. Copper Man, you are from Friendship District in Westmoreland. You are wanted by the police. You did something. On Saturday, the 17th of July, 2021, sometime after 6 p.m., you drove up a car. You took away a young lady and you did something to her. You are wanted by the police. My wish is that that young lady, either her father or her brother or somebody else close to her, find you before the police find you and cut off that thing yes that thing it needs to be cut off that act that you committed against this young lady that thing deserve to be cut off you are one wicked man i hope you are found and be made to face justice i am hoping that if and when you are arrested, the young lady go to court and give evidence against you so that you can be sent away for a long time. Now, if you are here, you are watching our videos, if you have not yet hit on the like button, I am reminding you to hit on it. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, hit on the subscribe button. Then hit on the notification bell, then click all so that you may be notified as soon as we have uploaded a new video. Now, in the final story for today, two men are lucky to be alive. Two young men, they are lucky to be alive. What am I talking about? This incident, it took place at a place named Peggy Barry. In Grangel, in the parish of Westmoreland. It took place on Saturday, the 17th of July, 2021, about some minutes after 9 pm. Our information is that a young man, he was riding a black 2019 Cabra motorcycle. He was traveling along the Peggy Barry Main Road. Another young man was traveling behind him. That young man, he was driving a Toyota Axio motor car. And reaching a certain section of the Peggy Barry Main Road, right in front of the Wesley and Holiness Church. Our information is that two men came out of bushes right across from the church. One of the men was armed with a m16 rifle whilst the other man he was armed with a nine millimeter pistol how do i know what they were armed with stick around you will hear the hoodlums without saying anything they opened fire on the young man that was riding the motorcycle as a result the motorcycle became disabled could not move based on where the bullets hit the motorcycle. This young man, he was thinking fast. So he jumped off the motorcycle and jumped into the Toyota Axio that was being driven by his friend. The hoodlums, they turned the guns on the car. They pelted the car with bullets. However, the man that was driving the car he managed to drive away, drove straight to the Grangel police station where a report was made. It was then realized that the man who was riding the motorcycle, he had received gunshot wounds to his right leg and his back. He was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was admitted for treatment. Now, 
when this crime scene was processed. And here is how we know the type of weapons these hoodlums were firing. When this crime scene was processed, our information is that a number of M16 spent shells as also a number of 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The Toyota Axio received gunshot damage to the right front fender, the back bumper, the driver door and the right rear fender. And we not talk about no one one bullet. We are talking about several bullets at the places that we called. So these two young men, they better sleep on the same side that them sleep on the night before because they are lucky to still be here with us. We are told that the young man who was shot, his injuries are not considered life-threatening. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody.